Hello there, this is C-A-N-W-A-N, Kenan from Kenan Place. And today we're going to play part 10 of No One, No One, Absolutely No One, No One But You. Alright, let's start the game. Let's try to load the game. Alright, it's a bit cloudy today. The weather has changed quite a bit since I arrived here. I, I've been here for almost two months now, but I'm still not used to everything. It's like the bridge, for example. I'll go... I like to go there by I like to go by there in order to see China, but with those nightmares of mine I just I just can't do that. Should I swing by there today? Yes, we should go to the bridge to talk to our ghostly friend China. Yeah, I'll go by the bridge. I can't keep running from my dreams forever. Alright I walked over the bridge and started to watch the water flow. Next to the river was China, who was sitting right beside it. I resisted the urge to call out to her and instead watched on as she sat there, feeling the rushing river water running between her fingers. I don't know what is it, but I have this weird feeling inside of me. It's almost like I've seen this before. China looked over at the bridge and noticed me standing there. She waved at me and started walking towards me. Hey there, China. Good morning, Heidi. How long have you been here? Telling China that I'm standing here, watching her might not be the best course of action. Hmm, nope, I just got here. I see, I see. Hmm, wow, what is it? I don't know, something's feel off about you today. Crap, did she see through my lie that easily? Oh, really? I'm wondering what might that be? The finals are almost here, so I guess that stressed me out a little bit. Have you started preparing for them? Oh, the finals year, of course. Hmm, she doesn't know about the final, right? Hmm, that's quite weird. Hmm, ghost doesn't know about final. Ghost doesn't need to study. I figured as much. Yesterday, I had this little study group with two girls from my class, but it didn't go all that as I expected. Huh? What did you mean? Things suddenly got heated between the two of them, and they both stomped off. I see, I see. I want to call you and invite you over, but you don't have a cell phone. Yeah, I still don't have one. Maybe you should ask your parents for one or something. Hmm, I'll try asking them. I hope that didn't come out too pushy. Anyway, you were here on your way to school, right? You've been using this pass on, on, on and off for a while now. Well, you are here most of the time, so I come by here with hopes of seeing you. Uh oh, that sounded more intense than I intended it to be. Let's just get going. We don't want to be late. Okay. Well, even ghosts get happy sometimes. Here we are. Yep, we made it in time to, with time to spare. I should head to class. I might come by the club today. Oh, okay. If you do, I'll see you there. Yeah, goodbye for now. Bye, China. Bye, China. Bye. Alright, arriving in class slightly earlier than usual. I look around the class for source of for the sources of my angst. Hmm, Mac is sitting at her desk alone. Maybe she's studying. Yui isn't here. She's probably in the courtyard as usual. Maybe I should check on Yui before class starts. Stay in class, check on Yui. Of course I should check on Yui. Alright, why not? I still have time. Besides, it'd be nicer to hear Yui's side of the story before I interrogate Mac. Okay, yep, she's sitting on the bench like always. I started walking towards Yui. Hey there, Yui. Shh, not now. I noticed that Yui was playing on her handheld game console. Oh, I never knew you were to, you, that you were a gamer. In fact, I was beginning to doubt the very existence of the legendary gamer girl. But if any of my friends fit that description, it's Yui. She looks entirely focused on the game as though I was not even here. I'm not even here. God damn, I was so close to getting a perfect score. I looked at the screen and tried to figure out which game Yui was playing. Temple Paradise, hey, you know it? Yeah, I'm not the best at rhythm games though. I could tell from the way you just made me lost. What? That wasn't my fault. <laughs> She's sure sarcastic, right? Sure it was, it wasn't. Yui shut down the console and put it aside. Are you here to talk about what happened yesterday? Because I don't have anything to say. I'm not here to interrogate you or anything, I'm here to see how you're doing. 
I'm fine, Heidi. It wasn't a big deal. So you're, the, you're, you're not mad at me? I will be if you keep asking me this stupid question. Oh, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. I figured Yui wouldn't want to talk. This conversation had gone on for longer than I thought it would be. Do you like her? What? 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 What, Mac? What? Where did that come from? I still hang out with her quite a lot, so I was just curious. I don't know. I've been... I like being around her. She's pretty upbeat and fun, but I can't tell if I have feelings for her or anything. Hmm. Don't ask me this kind of question. You're making me all confused. That's the point. I like messing with you. She said that with a smile too. Classic Yui. Hmm, quite nice, right? Sheesh. You can mess with me later. It's time I went back to class. Are you coming? No, I'll stay here for a bit longer. Dude, the exams are literally days away. Can you afford to miss classes now? Just get back to class, Heidi. You are the one who needs them. Suit yourself. I'll see you later then. I wave goodbye to Yui and walk towards and walk to class. Alright, we're in class now. Break time rolled over and Mac was still at the desk, vigilantly writing notes off the board. Damn, that was a lot of information. I couldn't I can't believe all of this would be the exams. I got most of it down, but the teacher rubbed off most of it before I had a chance. Sign my efforts are getting me nowhere. I should do something else for a while to take my mind off studying. What should I go? Interrogate Mac. Hmm, I don't really like Mac though. Go to the roof, go to the literi literacy club, literary, lit literature club or whatever. Go to the roof, let's go to the roof. Why not? It feels like I haven't spent much time with Shiro late, late, lately. Ghost passing together was fun, but she wasn't able to join our study group. So, and we often miss each, miss each other at school. <coughs> Alright, we are with Shiro now. As I walked to, up towards the roof, I saw the two lovebirds sitting next to each other. And the other side was Shiro, playing her guitar and singing. It was never meant to be this way. I never wanted to leave. I always say I don't stay, but do I even believe? The sunny days, the empty streets, forever stay the same. It all repeats all over again They're just a silly game I was sitting and asked myself What does it even mean? Is there really more than this to life? Or can it be just me? Just then, Shiro looked up because the song was over. I walked over and sat next to Shiro. That song was a bit too deep. If you ask me, do you write this? It was, it's just a random song I came up with. Really, I thought it was great. Hey, thanks. Romeo and Juliet really seem to enjoy it. Your voice is pretty amazing. It's nothing special. I'm sure you have a good singing voice too. Mm. Oh, let's test a theory. Play me something. All right. Shiro started playing the guitar. Yes, I can work with that. Let's go. Shiro, why do you eat my chips? I... Shiro, stop. <laughs> hey, why are you laughing? Where the heck did those lyrics come from? I couldn't help myself. Haha. <laughs> oh, from a really cool TV show, of course. And they are meant to be taken seriously. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, let's try again. Nope, you just blew a chance to hear my voice. Either like my obviously either like voice. That's not fair. I've already had my share of being made fun of by those two lovebirds right there. Fine then, my goal in life is now to make you sing again, so there. You're pretty persistent, aren't you? Not only when it comes to the important things in life. Hey, that sure is an interesting life you live. I stood up. We should head back to class now, we don't want to be late. I offered Shiro my hand to help her up. Oh, I see you have my name written on your hand. Oh, this I wrote in class while spacing out. It came. It became a habit, I guess. Haha. <laughs> she would grab my hand and, and I put her up. Ready to go? It's quite scary, right? Having someone write your name on their hand or something like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You stalker, scary guy. By the time the school had ended for a date, I had exhausted every fiber of my being. 
writing down notes, worrying about Yui and Mac, and stressing out about exam all at once while sticking his toes. As a result, by the time I had written down all the notes for today, I was literally the last student to go home. Literally the last student to go home. Hey mom! Hey Hedy, you're home early today. Really, I'm pretty sure I was the very last student to leave school. I guess it might it must be because I came straight home for once. You didn't go out with your friends today? I thought I'll just spend the evening in my room catching up on some sleep. The others are probably preparing for the exams anyway. You should do the same, you know. Yeah, I will. But the only thing on my mind right now is food. All of the studying has made me starve. The studying haven't the studying you haven't been doing, you mean? Hmm, either way, you're right on time. Dinner will be ready in five minutes. Go wash up, then join me in the kitchen. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, after eating dinner with my mother, I return to my bedroom. I promised I would study, but the second I hit my head hit a pillow. My body had other ideas. I don't know what I'm I don't know why I'm so tired today. Is it is is the school getting to me? Is it the stress? Am I worried about my friends? At any rate, all I want to do right now is sleep the night away. Alright, he's going to sleep. Thank you guys for watching part 10. This is quite a short episode. So I'll see you at part 11 of No One, No One, Absolutely No One But You. Well, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye! Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you get scared? Well, subscribe to my channel. And I promise you, you'll never get scared again. Or, watch more videos, and you'll be able to find your peace in life.